Okay, are you guys friendly so are you not? Drax and Redfoot. I can technically attack these guys, but I don't think that would end well for me. Because he has a big ass bow that actually clips through his body. Hey you. What do you want? I want to warn you. If you continue this way, you'll be entering our hunting ground. What do you hunt? Mostly scavengers. There's a lot of meat on them. Besides, it ain't too hard to get them. Once you know how. Really? How's that? Ask my friend Drax here. He knows more about these things than anyone. Oh, so you're just here for the conversation. Got it. Why is this area so dangerous? You've just arrived, haven't you? There are different areas in this colony which are all more or less dangerous. The paths between the camps are quite safe, but even there you might come across some wolves which look on you as uh, easy prey. And that's exactly what you are until you get a proper weapon and armor. Where can I get better equipment? The nearest place is that old camp. Just follow the path that brought you here. But you can get the stuff cheaper in our new camp, provided you know the right people. Oh. If you go to the old camp, ask for more drag. He's one of us. For just a little ore, he'll sell you the proper goods. So these are the new camp guys. Okay, uh, are you guys color coded? Because I'm seeing a pattern here. Um, Tell me more about the areas of the colony. If you travel between the camps, you'll need a map to distinguish paths and dead ends. Dead ends often lead you to dangerous canyons where you encounter creatures you'd better avoid. I mean, I have to ask. Enter the old ruins. There are too many around here. Most of them are old fortifications dating back to the time of the first orc war. Some are abandoned orc dwellings. There are often orcs in those ruins or even worse creatures. I'd avoid those places, especially at night. And one more hint. Don't go into the forest. Okay, so don't go into the forest, don't go into the ruins, don't go into the old camp, don't go into the new camp. Where the fuck do you guys want me to go? Do you want me to just sleep on the path or something? Um, also, I have to ask about the color coding because so far the only new camp, new camp guys that I have seen are dressed in blue and the only old camp guys that I have seen are dressed in red. So I'm starting to see a pattern here. I'm just waiting for somebody to show up in green or yellow. Oh, whoops. Oh. What was that even? What did I just open? Oh, it's like, oh, I paused the game. Oh, that's good to know that there's a pause. Uh, level zero exp <laughs> I started level zero. Oh my God. I am so pathetic. Um, I got 80 experience for killing that scavenger or two scavengers. I don't remember how many we killed. Oh, here's where I can finally see my strength and shit. Okay. Um, it's actually good to know. Like, I, I am very happy that I accidentally stumbled upon this menu. Um, Where do I get a map? Ask the people in the old camp. There's a cartographer living there. Maybe you can steal one of his maps. If you manage to do it, take one from me as well. Fuck off. Steal your old damn maps. Why? Doesn't he sell the maps? If you get enough ore to pay for them. Are there thunderstorms in this game? That would be kind of neat. Thanks for your help. Don't go thinking everyone's going to be so friendly, kid. There may not be much in a newcomer's pockets, but some folks would even beat you up for a pickaxe. I'll keep it in mind. Uh, I've got like two pickaxes and three swords at this point. <laughs> so I guess I'm a, I'm a very... Uh, I'm a very lucrative mugging target right now. Okay, let's talk to Drax. Maybe he can tell us something more about how to kill scavengers, except for what we already know, which is whack him really hard with a sword three times. You're hunting, aren't you? Looks like it. What do you want? Do you have some hints for the hunt? I could teach you a few things, but everything has its price. Which would be how much? A good gulp of beer will do. To start with, then we'll see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I picked up a I picked up a beer along the way. Let's go. Here you are. Take a beer and tell me about hunting. 
But I'm not so sure I trust somebody who is drunk with a bow. That's what we call the big birds. Should be attacked one after the other. It's easy to lure single scavengers from the pack. If you come too close, they'll become irritated. After a while, they'll storm in your direction. At this point, you should be waiting for them with a raised weapon. If you manage to strike the beast before it hits you, you have to keep fighting. Then you'll be able to defeat the creature without being hurt yourself. If it hits you first, well, just don't let him. What else can you tell me about hunting? A lot, but it'll cost you more than a beer. If you know how, you can take the creature's teeth, claws, and skin. It's hard to get them, but they are valuable. At least every merchant will trade those things with you. Oh. Yeah, no. I, I, I don't think we have a single ore, do we? How did I... How did I open this uh, pause menu thing f earlier? Like, how... Where did I get this? This is my missions. Which button prompt was it to get the... Uh, Player status S or B. Okay. Well, definitely not S. B. Okay. I don't have a single skill point. I certainly don't have any money. Well, I do actually have money, but I don't have skill points. How much money do I have? That's a good question. I've got 18 coins. Well. Wow. I am so broke. Okay. Um. Put the weapon away. Put it away. That was lucky. Dude. I better keep out of this. I wanted to see if I can lure some scavengers. I didn't want to attack you. Fine. Whatever. I'll move on. Here, scabby, scabby. Here, scabby, scabby. Oh, shut up. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, on one hand, it's nice. On the other hand, you literally just explained to me how I can draw scavengers from a crowd. There's a crowd of scavengers nearby. So I draw my weapon and his immediate first assumption is that I'm going to try to attack him. Like, dude, I have a rusty sword and like zero armor. What makes you think I'm trying to attack you of all people? Okay, um, let's see if we can fuck up a mole rat. Um, because I know we can do scavengers, but let's see if we can actually take mole rats. Um, Rat hunt. Let's go. Okay. So a bit harder than the scavengers, but we can do it. Good to know. Hell mushrooms. Oh, those don't sound like I should be eating them. I'm still gonna pick them up because maybe I can poison somebody along the way, but... Um... I really need to eat something, by the way. Oh, no, they, they do actually... Okay. Oh. I keep on forgetting it. Control W, let's go. I 
I've got some weird graphical glitches going on, but okay. Oh, I can actually loot the corpses for... Nice. That's good. That's good to know. I can scavenge the scavengers. Nice. I'm gonna have to try that. I'm gonna have to see if I can scavenge the scavengers. Okay, there's like three of them. So let's see if we can split one off from the group. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, come here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now it's a party. Okay. So this entire splitting off from the party thing does not work. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, we're gonna load the game. Red hand. We're just gonna stick with the one more red then. And we actually, well, let's let's keep the meat because we only have two of those. Whereas berries, we've, we're finding those pretty much everywhere, so. All right. Um... I already got everything I can from this mall rat. Oh. Oh, this looks kind of dangerous. That's a... Is that a wolf? I don't think I should be fucking with wolves yet. Like, I can't even survive lizards. So... Oh, more wolves. Yeah, fuck no. No. We're not going this way. <laughs> not yet anyway. We're gonna come back when we have like a proper armor or something. Oh, scavengers. Fun. Where did you guys come from? Yeah, come over here, please. They are so annoying. Like, I swear to God, just the sound of them. Oh. Why did it take so long to kill this one? Like, is my sword broken or something? Yeah, maybe I should not be messing with the other one over there. Oh, it was a grown one. That's why it was tougher. Okay. Yeah, I think maybe I should just stop uh, fucking with the wildlife until I have like actual armor or something. Maybe just stay on the path for now. This is where it came from, right? Yes. 
That's where the two new camp dudes are. And these guys are on red, so I'm guessing they're old camp. Oh my. Are you kidding? <laughs> uh, the insurmountable toe high slope. I got it. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, I could complain, but honestly, um, I don't know which sword I was using, to be honest. It kills things. That's all I really need to know. Um, but yeah, I can't really complain about the uh, toe high insurmountable slope because we still have that even in modern games. Like, how many times have I played a fairly recent game and try to go somewhere only for my character to run up against like a stone this high and not be able to proceed like that's that's just stuff that happens so i should not be surprised about that bridge guard what are you doing here what's it look like regarding the bridge of course Th that that, that was a stupid sure question no beasts cross the bridge I mean, he was literally called the bridge guard. Like, what were you expecting, my my dude? What are you doing here? Oh my! What's it look like? We make sure that. No yeah, whatever. Um. Have you got any advice for me? Yeah, don't go in the forest on your own unless you're strong enough to fight off all the beasts. I, I, I got some scavengers. So. Make sure you get to the old camp. They're holding a pickaxe for you. <laughs> I already Let got two of those, so, you know. Oh my god, those dialogue options. <sighs> but I, I honestly, uh, my protagonist right now gives off the vibe of like transfer student who just moved over here and wants to make friends with everybody <laughs> which is like dude i'm pretty sure these guys have other things to worry about um hi i'm new here hi i'm new here how nice for you <laughs> i love this guy he, he has the adequate reaction to that question is that the old camp over there no, that's the new camp. The old camp is underneath the bridge. Let me pass. I like you, dude. I mean, your last word there didn't make sense, but I like you. Honestly, pretty, pretty funny. Oh, wait. I keep on... I don't know which game it was where jump was on space, but I keep on pressing space to jump. And then being confused why it doesn't work. Um, that's... Oh, beer. Who's just leaving the booze lying around? Yeah. Um, we have to be very careful that we don't run into any more enemies. Until we get some proper armor. I said pick up the blueberries. Yeah, that's probably why I'm I'm so confused about it because I can't even say for sure which one it was in the old Tomb Raider games, honestly. I think in the old Tomb Raider games it was also Alt that was for jumping. But I'm not entirely sure. It's just it's been so long since I actually played a game like that. I'm pretty sure if I take their food just now, they're going to pull swords on me, aren't they? Hmm. Let's try it. Oh no! I can just take your food and you don't care? Okay. Oh, you guys are fucking generous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Joker. It is it is going to be one hell of a journey um, because I it has literally been like 20 years since I even touched 
any of these games and I don't remember shit about it and <laughs> I have a very chaotic playstyle to say the least so um it's going to be a journey. <laughs> what are you doing out here? I want to be left in peace. So get lost. Okay, I like you too. You're a very reasonable person. Why are you here and not in the camp? I'm waiting for a friend to return from the mine. He owes me some ore. I can't turn up in the camp without the ore. I couldn't pay the protection money for the guards and then things would get real heavy for me. Oh, I I'm actually kind of sorry I took this guy's Raguno. Um, I'm sorry. But you know, since we're here, I might as well take all the other shit. If you guys don't mind. Why do you f Oh! oh <laughs> now you get angry. <laughs> you don't need that much ore anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh wow, so oh they left me with like one HP, so I'm actually still alive or something. Okay. All right, so I can take their food, but I can't take what's in the chest. Got it. I... That's fine. I'll just take all the free shit and then I'll leave. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, the first torch, I actually picked this up very early, Joker. The, the, problem was once I actually equipped it I could no longer unequip it and oh the lighting is going crazy Ooh, and only uh only like half the um only like half the torches that I wanted to light up with the torch actually were able to light up like I, I went uh, past a bunch of like torches sticking out of the ground and I tried to light them up and uh, most of the time it just didn't work so I'm like torches are pretty much useless as far as I can tell Hey, Feneral. So, um, yeah, like these things. I, I tried to light up a couple of them, but it only worked with one. So I went like, okay, you know what? Let's just ditch the torch. And so now I'm running around with, I think it's a rusty sword, an old sword. I think this is the one that I currently have equipped. Yeah, this one, the rusty sword, which is actually the weaker of the two swords, but I figure these things probably have endurance or something or durability and probably um <laughs> hi city <laughs> um I, I i'm not mad <laughs> it's fine um i i'm blundering my way through this i only just got to the old camp um now i i mean i don't know if weapons have durability or not is there any point in me using a worse weapon or can I just switch to a better weapon? Because if I can switch to a better weapon, guys in chat, please help me. Um, do weapons have durability in this game? Yes or no? No durability. Okay, awesome. In that case, um, in that case, we're gonna go with this sword. Hang on. Yeah, in that case, we're going to equip this sword because this is actually a better sword. And uh, there's no point in me. I guess I can sell the old shit then, like the pickaxe and all that stuff, because I don't need these anyway. If weapons don't have durability. I'll keep the arrows because I reckon at some point I will probably want a bow or something. But I guess I can sell the club and the pickaxes and the rusty swords now. And hi, Hunter. Oh yeah, uh, I, I did already find this stats window by accident. Wow, the sunlight is really like... On, on one hand, I like that it adjusts, but on the other hand, I'm like, this is very bright. Um, anyway, we'll see how it goes. Um, it would be fun, but no, they don't have durability. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if durability would be fun for like... Um, my guardian can attest to this. I already tried to throw down with lizards. And I almost threw down with wolves and it, it didn't end very well for me, so. <laughs> oh. 
Hi, in that specific case, 10 damage sword is better because 12 damage sword is bugged and its edge a bit comes through enemies and don't damage them. Oh! Oh! Oh, that is extremely good to know. Thank you for letting me know. So we're going to switch that again. I'm going to go from my old sword to my rusty sword, aka my trusty sword. Okay. My rusty trusty sword. Let's go. Um... I mean, have you looked directly at the sun? Yes, I have, because I, I tend to be morbidly curious. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, my guardian can attest that I, I have morbid curiosity. Like if you guys look at my save files, so this was the testing save that I did yesterday when I just booted the game up to see if I can actually stream this or if I, if I can actually run it on my PC. This was the one at the beginning of the stream, like after all the dialogues and the cutscene, which did not show on stream, by the way. Um, then uh, I saved before I went to fight my first thing. Then I, I, I saved before I tried to jump off a cliff to see if there's fall damage, which there is. Uh, we found that out. Um, I saved before we went on a mole rat hunt because I had only killed scavengers up until point until that point and I was like, can I actually survive a mole rat because I cannot survive lizards? And then I saved before I stole the guys Ragu. So um <laughs> I I like to test this kind of stuff. Okay, the tutorial will say go to the old camp and I will go literally anywhere else and try everything else. That that's like a leftover bit of quality assurance tester in me. So um this is just how these things go for me. Uh, we're just going to title this old camp entrance before I say something to somebody else that I will later regret. <laughs> and we're going to move on. Um, I don't know. I haven't found any other weapons yet. Like what you see in my inventory here is what I found. I found like two pickaxes, a club, some arrows, which I can't use because I don't have a bow and an old sword and a rusty sword. So. I'm sure there will be new swords at some point, but maybe these are only in the new camp or maybe they're going to cost me an arm and a leg. I don't know. Um, we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> Sorry. Anyway, let's talk to these guards. And I swear to God, if my dude asks again, what are you doing here? He deserves to get punched in the face. <laughs> 